Dan Black pushing a provision through Congress to defund a government position. But then President Obama apparently went around her rebranding that job by just tweaking the title just to keep it. Congresswoman Black joins us. Good evening. Good evening, Greta. It's great to be with you. Nice to have you. So what is the job that you sought to have defunded and you did defund with the uh, federal government? Well, the president put into place a, a brand new position back in February of 2012 called the Public Advocate. And it basically was a lobbyist for those who have broken the law and come into our country illegally. And so when I saw that, um, I just thought that was really wrong. That's not right to use taxpayer dollars in that way. I think it would better be used to protecting the border. But I went to work on that, and we wrote a bill to defund um, this program. It passed in the House without opposition, uh, passed in the Senate, and it was on the appropriation bill. It was then added to the continuing resolution, which was signed by the president. And then we found out that over the summer, what he did is he circumvented uh, Congress after signing the law, he has his signature on it, and just renaming the position, basically the same person, same role, and he went around what Congress had, um, had done in this continuing resolution. All right, let me back up for a second. You mean everybody in the House voted for this, both sides of the aisle? Everybody. Both sides of the aisle. It had no opposition in the House and no opposition in the Senate, and the president signed it into law. Uh, you know, this is supposed to be the most transparent administration in the history of our country. I don't think that that's the way you would call it transparent, uh, by going around Congress. Well, there's also, I mean, you know, the Congress, I mean, the government, there are three equal branches with three specific, you know, responsibilities. So, so the president doesn't like what you all did unanimously, House and Senate, Republicans and Democrats. So then he takes that job that you threw out, that you defunded, and he, and he gives a, another title to another job that's identical, same person, in fact. Uh, where did he get the money for same this person. other job? Where did he get the money? Did you guys well, give him the money? That's a very good question because we defunded it. And so obviously he is he's doing something that's actually against the law that he signed in. Because but I'm not sure where this? he got the money. Oh, so but so you don't that's even know. That's a good where question he... for the administration. What to, to probably my guess is that you guys funded it, maybe unknowingly, but he, I mean he can't fund the job himself, right? Well, he can find other money um, in Homeland Security because that's where this money comes from. Uh, even the president of the ICE um, uh, workers, uh, the union president, said that this program is just fraught with fraud, waste, and abuse. So it is not a partisan issue. This is an issue that has been agreed upon by both the Democrats and the Republicans. What is the White House saying to this? I mean, because obviously they just totally ignored Congress and the Senate. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's Republicans and Democrats, and they said, they said, they don't need you. They don't care what you're going to do. We're going to do it anyway. Um, when you ask them, what, uh, what's the response from the administration? They're just not returning our call. Um, we've been calling, and they've been avoiding and ignoring, giving us a call back to let us know um, how they did this, how they funded it, since it was a defunded position. And I guess they just wrote it into another line item. I don't know. But that's a good question for the administration, for the executive branch, of when Congress passes a law and the president signs it. And I think